It's Monday, March 31st, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. The AP reports that Barack Obama recently compared the presidential campaign to a good movie that's lasted too long. When asked about this, Senator Clinton responded by saying, I like long movies. According to ABC, when asked to name a favorite movie, she said, this one. Ignoring for a moment the horrifying possibility that Senator Clinton might actually still be in the race simply to entertain herself, it seems to me that the campaign is less like a long movie and more like the NBC series The Pretender. See, it starts out really interesting at first with all kinds of cool revelations that you think are bringing you closer to a thrilling and satisfying conclusion, but as the plot twists pile up and the story drags on, you eventually get the suspicion that nobody involved with this thing has any idea how it's supposed to end. Not even Mr. Reigns. But maybe Clinton just likes to watch long movies to avoid the reality of her financial troubles. As Politico's Ken Vogel reports, she's been putting off paying hundreds of bills for months. Many of those debts, which total $8.7 million, are for expenses related to her rallies and speeches and range from thousands of dollars for catering to 607 bucks for a stage technician. Now, if we were living in Dickensian, England, perhaps Senator Clinton would be thrown forthwith into debtor's prison for such outlandish atrocities. But fortunately for her, it's 21st century America, where it seems the creditor's primary tactic is pretty much to complain. A few of the production companies say your best bet with the Clinton campaign, get your money up front. Finally, columnist Maureen Dowd reports that Obama has some ambitious social engineering plans. And no, people of the internet, that does not mean you should expect to see Kevin Mitnick as Secretary of Homeland Security. Instead, Obama is talking about using the bully pulpit to change American culture. He apparently has some plans to make government cool again and told an audience, at least one audience, to be better parents by putting away the chips and cold Popeyes for breakfast, turning off the television and video games, and watching your kids do their homework. Wow, I had no idea this guy was so lame. Look, Senator, you know how you get a lot of support from college kids? Well, having recently graduated myself, I can tell you that eating cold chicken and watching cartoons is pretty much what college kids do on Saturday mornings. Assuming, of course, they're awake at all. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash nothing for more stories. And don't worry, if you think the campaign is dragging on for too long, just pop in a copy of Lawrence of Arabia and watch it five or six times. It'll be less tedious. At least that's my way of coping right here on Kotecki TV.